What is going on folks? It's Rigor Mortis and I am a little bit late to the party today but I, I wanted to talk to you guys about Switchback Energy today. I know I'm a little bit late and I wanted to make this video like a couple of hours ago where it was still a really really good buying opportunity but I really hope you guys took advantage of the buying opportunity of Switchback Energy here this morning. It shot all the way down to $25, around $25 and since then it's gone all the way back up to nearly $30. It's at $31 now as I'm making this video so it is just absolutely skyrocketing. I had a great conversation with a guy in the comment section the other day about switchback energy how he bought at $35 I told him it's not that big of a deal I really hope he didn't panic this morning when he saw it at 25 because whenever I saw it at 25 I was like holy smokes this is such a wonderful buying opportunity for this company if you guys don't know what switchback energy is it is a SPAC that is merging with ChargePoint the ticker symbol for the SPAC is SBE switchback energy and it is merging with ChargePoint which is a charging station company that has an absolute hold on the charging station market I'm talking like 75% of the market they have it so this company is gonna it has a very very bright future in my opinion like I said it's a SPAC so you guys need to know the dangers around SPACs you know they can fall to potentially lower than ten dollars if the company they merge with is a dud and you could potentially lose all of your initial investment minus the ten dollars so if we bought at 3128 right now holy crap it's still going up then we could get only ten dollars back if the merger doesn't go through or if the SPAC dies before the merger goes through so just keep those things in mind but anyway, charge point. I think that this is just a wonderful company, and I think SBE at the prices that we saw it at this morning at 25 was just a ridiculous buy, and we can see that it climbed all the way back up, and it's still climbing right now. So I really hope you guys took advantage of this and, and took the opportunity to buy. Like I always say, this is not financial advice. These are just the plays that I'm trying to put you guys on. I think that this company is going to go to the absolute moon. My price target for it in the near future is around $50 to $55. So if you bought it at below $30, I think it was a great buy. Uh, if you didn't, if you bought it at $35, like I talked to with that guy in the comment section, I think you're still okay. Anything between the $30 and $35 mark, I think you're still all right. It's not as good, a, a good of a buy, obviously, as below $30, but I think you're still in a good position to make a little bit of money. So don't worry too much. This company is definitely a hold if, if you bought in at between $30 and $35. If you got in below $30, it was a great, great, great buying opportunity. But anyway, I just wanted to mention it really quickly to you guys because it did have a slight pullback this morning. Not a slight pullback, a major pullback. And I thought it was just a great buying opportunity. I'm really sorry that I'm not getting this video out earlier. I was busy this morning. But um, I, I'm really hoping that some of you guys had the a little bit of intuition to buy into this company at, at around $25 to $26 a share. Next up, I just want to quickly talk about Nano Dimension. Uh, this company hasn't really been moving a whole lot the past couple of days. I bought in at the high sixes, and it's it's gone down to the lower sixes now. So uh, compared to some of the movements that we were seeing last week and the week before, it, nothing crazy has been really going on with this company. It has fallen 5% on the day, almost 5%, which is substantial, but it's it's not a lot compared to what we've seen before in this company. So I do think that Nano Dimension at this, at this low $6 mark to high $5, so anywhere between $5 and 50 cents to $6 is a really good buy zone. Uh, we're pretty much past the direct offerings, I hope. They, they did raise the money that they wanted, which was the $200 million, and they got the $210 million raised through those direct offerings. So we should be past that point now. And I think that, you know, week to week volatility that we were seeing, hopefully we won't be seeing too much of that. I think this, this company is set up for steady growth at this point. I'm hoping that by the end of the week, we reach back to that around $7 mark. And I think going into next week, we can see maybe eight, nine, and even $10 if the market sentiment is there. So if you haven't bought into Nano Dimension yet, like I said, not financial advice, but I think this is a good buying opportunity. If it dips below $6, then I think we, we need to really look at this company and, and buy in. If it somehow dips below $5.50 and approaches $5, I think that's just a wonderful buying opportunity for everybody. And I would be loading up on this stock. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Really short video. I'm really regretting not being able to put you guys on Switchback Energy this morning, and I'm, I, I apologize for that, but I really hope that you guys bought. If you didn't, uh, you know, if you've bought between $30 and $35, I think you're still okay. If you do still want to buy into this company, you haven't started a position yet. Honestly, I think it's still a reasonable buy in the short term. But you have to keep in mind that it is a SPAC and they do have, they are very volatile. 
and so out of nowhere they can shoot down like it did today to $25 but if you do want to start a small position today and see where it goes and then kind of start to nibble as the, the volatility just kind of goes through here so like if it, if it drops down so if you buy in right now at $31 essentially and it drops back down somehow to the high 20s to mid 20s then maybe you can buy in a little bit more to decrease your cost basis and so on and so forth I think that's a reasonable idea just so that you can at least start your initial position in this company because I do think it's the future for charging stations anyway folks that's it for this video if you like the video please drop a like down below uh, drop me a comment section drop me a comment section drop me a comment in the comment section below i really like talking to you guys down there if you're new around here subscribe i make these stock videos i really enjoy doing it i'm new around here we just hit 100 subscribers which i'm ecstatic about great news for everybody i really appreciate you folks see you guys on the next one